Well, hello YouTube. Quick video, I said, but first, today's video is brought to you by Monster. No, I'm just kidding. Wish I was sponsored by Monster, huh? Uh, no. Uh, today, uh, it's exciting. We got a quick video, and the reason it's going to be quick is I have to turn my air conditioner off where you guys can hear me properly. And so, we're going to do a unboxing today. Uh, it's nothing better than an unboxing, right guys? It feels like Christmas, right? And so, I have to be a little quiet because I have a surprise. Uh, so, I ordered some stuff from Host Pharma and then, of course, off of Amazon, too. Some other stuff off of Amazon. And uh, I've got a surprise for my wife. Now, all you uh, power saw enthusiasts, let me tell you a little secret. So, I've gotten my wife involved in... Because, uh, you know, this takes time away from the family, does it not? So, if you can include the family, it works out pretty good, does it not? So if you enter, if you uh, include them into it, it's better. So what I did, I ordered something very special. So what, I hadn't opened it yet. It had a, a front box on it, a cover box. And it's good because that box was damaged, you know how Amazon shipments are. What I got here, is let me make sure I show that. I've got yeah you're reading that right it says pink way so what I've done is I bought a saw for my wife yes sir I bought a saw for my wife everybody has seen the pink way 63 uh, cc's we're gonna measure it out not in this video uh, but we will measure it out uh, and see what it is I believe I've seen uh, I have seen this saw is is a saw that is part of a, a another company that's made many different saw clone saws. You know the Chinese saws how they are, and uh, uh, but we'll discuss more about that later. First, let's do the unboxing, huh? So I love opening boxes. So I got this saw from my wife, right? So it's got like it's, it's called Pink Way, but it's got a purple look to it. So my idea is. I want to get the saw, I want to port it, and my wife has become interested in maybe running a power saw. That's excellent, guys. And so, uh, I'm going to uh, get some decals, some stickers made up. My brother is a graphic designer, and he's going to make some, we're going to call it the Purple Wood Eater. So just like a playoff of the purple people eater, we're gonna call it the purple wood eater. Uh, so we're gonna pour it, put an aftermarket uh, uh, air you know, air cleaner on it, and, and uh, put a pipe on it in the front, make it all look, make it look cool. Uh, I think it'll be cool. I know she'll dig it. And uh, either way, it's including her in it. We got another saw. Okay. Okay. So today we'll be unboxing this saw. So it comes in a, so there's, there's another box, huh? So, so far, just to get this one open, this box, and this box, so this box was inside this box, and of course this box was in this box. What? Pretty good packaging, actually. Uh, the outside one is, uh, the very outside one was Amazon, so. And then it looks like the company is smart enough to pack that one inside another, giving you know more more padding. Pretty good uh, so far for for packaging. I, I I think it's pretty good. You see, one of the concerns that everybody always has is is uh, you know when the machine gets there, uh, what kind of shape is it in? Has it been damaged during transport? And so that's the first thing everybody's looking for is. You know what kind of damage has been done to the whatever you ordered, but yeah, exciting. Tomorrow I'm going to do another video of I have a 288 a G288 coming, and I have already part of this shipment some Pulse Pharma bars that I'm going to open here in a second. I might save that for tomorrow. So I don't know. We'll open it. Anyhow, so what we got here, guys? So first thing on top when you unbox these pink ways. Now that's another thing that I noticed on while well, I was also doing research on YouTube. 
I found one video of a guy that had bought it to do some milling with, which is what I do with chainsaws, you know. Um, he bought it because it was 60cc saw, and so uh, he said he, he'd started it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he unboxed it like I'm about to do. Uh, but ever, however, he never did another video of it to see what kind of saw, you know, how it held up or how it ran or nothing like that. So I will. Uh, we'll do some. So it's boxed pretty good. Look at this. The corners comes with these hard plastic things inside. So that's nice. Really nice. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's packaged well. Yeah. For Chinese stuff. So here we have first is the operator's manual. Operator's manual uh, comes in a little. Uh, oh, you remember in school we had these little zipper things. We, they, we carry our Corellas in it, and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Pink wet. You know, I, I've got to wonder. Okay, because we don't see too many ladies. No offense. Running power saws, and so why did they make a power saw that said pink way on it? I mean, do they? Why? But. We bought it, and so here it is. And so uh, we have high hopes for it. But I'm going to port this saw. It's going to be one of my first ports. I've done some uh, uh, freehand porting and uh, just uh, exhaust side. So the full package, very nice. Actually, it, listen, I didn't expect much out of it. Honestly, uh, let's stop real quick and not stop it. Uh, stop this part for a second. I also ordered a set of carburetor uh, adjustment tools as you guys have seen the hack of using the cutoff wheel for the Dremel to uh, make a flathead you know, to be able to adjust your carburetor. Basically just take a little Dremel and go into the uh, uh, to the spot where you need a carburetor tool and you just etch in a little uh, uh, flathead spot where you can adjust the carburetor. I've done that on several saws and weed eaters and stuff through the time and but anyhow, since I'm going to work on saws, I'm going to need this. And so, kind of a cheap plastic, not bad. So I paid 10 bucks for 10 of the, it's supposed to be uh, the majority, I'm pretty sure, of all the, to work on any kind of two-stroke. So, uh, the little pouch is kind of cheap. So I expect that, this to be that. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm not saying this is leather by no means, but this is of decent quality. It is. Uh, not just saying that. If it was junk, I'd say so. Uh, it's not a bad. I mean, I won't use, I won't use them like that, but kind of cool, huh? Kind of cool. So inside it comes our our little uh, scrunch. Uh, every Sawyer's uh, handy tool. Hey, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this, but a little tip: paint these things orange or some kind of neon color. So if you're out in the woods and you're cutting and you drop it. You can see that sucker. Little tip there. Okay, and a little hand file. Junk, uh, but they sent you one. Not bad. Not bad. Bag's better than the file is. A uh, little, little carburetor adjuster tool. Flathead. Also not the highest quality. And a Allen wrench. Allen wrench is an Allen wrench, but that's what comes in the, in the little tool kit. Uh, Oh wait, yeah, that's everything. So, but the tool, the bag is a better quality than the tools I gave you. So, um, next will be the bars. So, one of the cool things about this saw that I liked at least, it comes with two different bars, an 18 and a 20. Okay, this looks to be the 18 because it's thinner, and this is the 20. It says pink wave. On both sides. So, uh, yeah, man, who doesn't want an extra bar? Uh, it seems like, you know, really, come on, let's look at it. It's supposed to be an 18 and a 20, but I can tell you this, it ain't more than an inch difference. This is the, can you see it right here through this? So it's more like just having an extra bar. Um, so, 20 inches is what we'll run. Uh, we'll see how we feel about this other one. It says a comprehensive upgrade. Hmm. All right, so a couple bars, not bad, not bad. And and, and, and guys, I, I'm going to unbox this today, but we're not going to start it. 
And I'm going to tell you why. I want to measure, I want to be able to do a compression test on it, see what my compression was, is before everything. And I also want to be able to uh, uh, measure out the piston stroke and all that. And I, I just don't have time today. Next, as any so any un, uh, uh, unboxing has ever been with our Chinese saws, handy dandy mixing jug, huh? Okay. Next, a couple chains. Uh, not bad. Uh, at least the packaging. Look at that. Packaging ain't bad. We'll see what kind. Of We'll see what the chains are like, I don't know. With milling, I burn up chains so fast that, yeah, there's better chains. I, I have found the 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 holes, holes of the Husqvarna chains to be the best, honestly. I still, most of the time, buy Oregon just because of the price point. Um, and I can just go get them off the shelf from, from the big box store. And so, uh, it's what I buy most of the time. <coughs> I noticed Bodie... Uh, bought a roll of chain, I believe from uh, Neotech. Um, probably going to do the same thing, although I'm, we'll see when my 288 comes in, what kind of, what kind of chains Holst Pharma has. Uh, I haven't ran too many Holst Pharma chains. Oh, well, actually, it's right here. We'll see what that chain's like, but we'll have to run it to really know. So here's the saw, guys. Uh, of course, the scabbard protector. I hang, I hang my saws on the wall, as many of you guys, any of my subscribers or people that watch my videos have seen. So here we are, the main event, guys. We have a pink way purple saw. Wow. Well, let me tell you this. First of all, let's stop right here. This handlebar grip, you know, you had a bike, you know, like a bicycle. That handlebar grip feels really cool really cool. Do I smell gas? Two-stroke oil. What do we got here? Have they already tested it? That would be good. If they've tested it and there's actually there was gas in it, that means they started it up at the factory. Definitely. Definitely gas in it. Uh, that's both good and bad. Uh, it lets me know that it has ran, which means it starts that's good. Bad as in, first thing I'm going to do is replace the spark plug. A lot of spark plugs in these uh, these Chinese saws are junk and they'll uh, uh, destroy your your, uh, your coil. So, uh, but anyhow, that's good. At least I know it should run. Uh, which I didn't care. I'm going to pour the crap out of it and do other stuff. Uh, first thing I notice, uh, man, that. Hey guys, that feels good. Okay, so I don't know if you can see. You see the handlebars? See how it has like a ridge underneath there for like your, in between your fingers? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna get too. Uh, my 590 Timberwolf. That was that's a nice fill, filling saw. Uh, my 660, I like it. You know what I mean? So I'm not gonna get too carried away with how excited I am about this saw. But for my my wife's saw, it's a nice saw. I don't mind it, man. That's. You know what, guys? I mean, it, it's not real strong metal, but the handlebar grip has a good feeling to it. That's how I feel about that. So, stop, off and on. Toggle, feels pretty good. Choke lever, it does have a uh, uh, a uh, fuel, uh, throttle lock, not bad. It says pink way on it, you know, plastic, magne magnesium, guys, magnesium case. So, has that going for it, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, they started it. Well, that's good, man. That really is good. Let's see what it looks like under the hood. Let's see what it looks like under the hood. How long are we going on here? 15 minutes? I, uh, I don't want my wife to walk in. 
She knows I got an Amazon order, but I get Amazon orders all the time. So this is a surprise for her, and I don't want to. Uh, I don't. I definitely don't want to ruin it. Sixty-three displacement, sixty-three cc's. The, you know, and the reason I want to—it's different. I can't get that to come off. The reason I want to measure it is because, and, and, and guys, it's not just the Chinese saws. It uh, every manufacturer fibs just a little bit, uh, or our ability to measure ain't quite like theirs. I, but I don't think so. Now they're always off just a little bit. I have found, and I've heard this before, that they're, they're always off just a little bit. This hood is having an issue coming off. Feels tight, like it, like the and this has been screwed all the way. I don't know what's going on. This filter I'm going to be getting rid of anyway, but I tighten it back down. That's, oh, I know what's up. It's user error. Yes, sir. I think it pulls off backwards this way, kind of like the Echo does. And I'm kind of wondering what what uh, what this is cloning. You know what I mean? Uh, this pink way. Uh, you know what? What uh? What saw is it? Is it? Uh, trying to uh, copy, you know what I mean? Because um, I also looked up on Amazon, you know, like for parts for it, and uh, I, I I couldn't find any, so we're gonna have to figure that out. But we'll feel, figure that out. Might be able to put. Yeah, definitely been ran. Uh, so that's okay. Spark plug. Let's get our handy dandy scrunch. So I lost it already. Good thing. I found it real fast in my handy dandy pack. It, it, guys, it, it, it feels like a solid saw so far. Um, I've unboxed some Chinese saws before, and I mean, for the price point, I think I paid $138 at the door uh, with. Uh, uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, it's not bad, guys. It really isn't. Boy, that thing is on there tight, guys. Well, let's leave it on there for now. I don't want to struggle with it. And as I said, my air conditioning is running out. But anyway, uh, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna dig through this thing. I'm gonna have it all apart. Uh, I'm gonna take videos of it, and uh, we're gonna see what kind of carburetor it has. Um, we'll see what the factory settings are for it. You know what it's working with. But for a 63 cc saw, you know I'm betting we end up coming in somewhere around 61, 62 cc's once we measure it out. Um, I would say uh, it's usually a cc or two under. I found in most cases, um, but. For the solid ability, and if you were watching this video because you uh, basically looked up Pinkway, uh, you can, unless it's in the next day or two, because I'll probably do another video within a day or two, uh, look for another video for the follow-up. I've seen a lot of people say that, like the example I gave you earlier, and they don't do a follow-up. I will do a follow-up of how this saw runs in the configurement of how it is now. Uh, except for the spark plug. I will replace the spark plug first because I, I just don't want to take a chance of ruining the ignition. So I will do that. I will replace that first. Um, pretty much is all I'll replace first. We'll do some test cuts. Um, and then uh, that way we can time it and see where we're at. And that way I can know uh, how well I did on my porting too. So, so far, that's what we got, guys. Not so bad. Uh, the air breather, air cover, yeah, junk. Kind of like one of my biggest. Uh, beefs about uh, Craftsman saw, same kind of fine filter. Uh, crap. Yeah. Smelling gas. Yep. So here we have it. Dual port. Dual port. So yeah, not so bad. I'll tell you what. It feels like a solid saw. It does. It has a good.
something's rattling around in that, but feels like a solid saw. Um, you know, for what it looks like, uh, looks to be a pretty solid saw. It really does. For a Chinese made saw for $135 at your door, I'm pretty impressed. Um, but we'll see how that goes. All right. So I will do another video for the whole farm of bars probably before the 288 gets here, but uh, I'll make it a part of another video. Guys, until then, uh, I'll probably start this thing up tomorrow and give it a test run and I'll upload the video for it. Uh, but uh, I, pre I pr appreciate your time. And if you like the content, like and subscribe, please. Until then, be safe, guys.